Hello, I'm Mark. And I'm Brian. And for our 4760 project, we made a bike dashboard that tells the user power, speed, distance, and pedal cadence. Uh, the purpose of this was because in a commercial product, to get all of these readings, it'll cost upwards of $1,000. And we wanted to do it for a fraction of that cost. Wow, 1000 bucks, huh? Yeah. Because it requires cut modification of the it, bicycle. It includes buying a new crank and right. everything in that sort. Okay, so let's let's look at the bike here. And so you did you modified the crank. Yeah. To put so up the stock crank off of a bicycle was modified to put a string gauge onto it. So and yep, and the string the gauge is right there. So the strain gauge measures the flex in the crank, which is caused by the torque that the rider is exerting on the pedal. Mm -hmm. And we measure the signal with the strain gauge in the differential configuration to measure the actual torque on the pedal. And then there's a battery pack, a microcontroller, and a wireless transmitter on the pedal so that as you're rotating, it can record that strain and then send it up to our dashboard to display it to the actual rider. Okay, so there's so there's a transmitter down there someplace? Yeah, there's uh -huh. a transmitter. It's covered by a shield, okay. an RF shield right now. And then and, and so you had to shield this from the frame of the bike for to, to reduce interference with the with the strain gauge, which is pretty low level, right? Uh huh. And then there's a there's a hall sensor on the back wheel. I see wires going to the back wheel. I don't see that. Where's the hall sensor there's on there? There's two hall sensors. One right here on the uh, outside of the frame. The the crank. The, yeah, the pedal cadence. Yeah. And then one on the inside. I see. Down. The rear tire to measure the wheel RPM. And it's on the back tire, so you can use this on a trainer. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And then, then uh, so then you'd, you'd you bring this up to the dashboard, which is right now laying on the table, but yeah. sooner or later would be in the on the on the. And what kind of radio are you using? Uh, it's 915 megahertz. Uh -huh. RFM 12B, uh -huh. Spark Fun. Uh -huh. It's only five dollar transmitter, so it's super yeah. cheap, and the entire project like, generously costs sixty dollars. Did you find that easy to use? That transmitter easy to use? Um, after, like the programming guide for it was a little hard to get under to understand and get going, but once it's up, it's simple to set up. Cool. That's a good frequency for interference too. It's lower than the. So up here we have. The RF module, our micro, and our LCD display. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to hop on and uh, so you're holding about 150 watts there. And is, is that a comfortable pace? Yeah. And what are you averaging over a couple of, uh, about two or three seconds? So we could probably increase that to make that output a little more stable. So it would be nice to have sort of an instantaneous and then a running average or yeah. some such uh, maybe. Yeah, see the odometer going, I see the, uh, the cage. Uh, you can reset the odometer. Uh-huh, okay. So that's a, what, one of these buttons over here. What do the other two buttons do? Uh, nothing now, we just put them on. Oh, for, okay, for, for an expansion. Yeah. So do you, all right, so you're gonna power up here. <laughs> So you're sitting around 400 watts there. A different power. <laughs> and you get a little red in the face there too. That's a that's a that's a that's a lot of power. You have the you have the resistance on the back. No, you don't have the resistance on the back right now. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Alright, so let's get back and get the whole thing here.